What's up guys? My name is Oh My God Your Head's Gone and today I'm going to help you guys get the diamond camel for your assault rifles. Don't worry if you're trying to get it for your SMGs or your pistols or whatever. This will also apply to you if you're trying to get it for your launchers or your special weapons like the ballistic knife or the crossbow. I will be making a guide for those later on but this is specifically for guns at this point. So anyways, the background video that you're watching is just some kills I got earlier today using all the diamond assault rifles that I have so you guys could see how they look and hopefully get motivated to try to get that diamond camel. Alright, so let's get started. The basis of the diamond camel, of course, is getting each weapon in the category that you want the diamond camel for gold. So say you want your assault rifles to all be diamond, you have to get each one of them gold first and by the time you get the 9th, gold assault rifle there are nine in the category once you get the ninth one gold you will then have diamond camo unlocked in the camo selection screen when you go to change the camo for your weapon so how do i get gold camo you might wonder well first off you have to get a hundred headshots that's the most difficult part i would say or at least it takes the longest and once you have the hundred headshots you unlock a couple of more challenges like uh, getting 150 kills with no perks, getting 150 kills with no attachments, and a couple of smaller things like 10 long shots, 10 bloodthirsties, but those go by really quick so you don't really have to worry too much about them. You'll probably get them done when you're getting the 150 kills with no attachments. So anyways, moving on to the actual headshots. What I did when I was trying to get headshots so it didn't feel like I was grinding and it didn't feel like the gold or diamond camo was so far away was I just kind of picked a weapon and I would use it while playing and I wouldn't really think too much about the headshots I would just stick to that one specific weapon and before I knew it after you know 10 games or whatever I realized I was already halfway done the headshots or whatever and it was going by really quickly so uh, don't worry too much about headshots and one-on-one -on -one encounters what you want to worry about more are just making sure you get headshots when you find somebody from the side or from the back make sure you aim for the head get those free headshots but when you're just uh, meeting an opponent one versus one head on don't worry too much about aiming for the head otherwise you're gonna stress yourself when you're missing the headshots and you're dying consistently and that can get frustrating Moving on now, once you're done the headshots, you're going to have to get the 150 kills with no perks and the 150 kills with no attachments. And the reason this specific challenge is specifically difficult is because without using any attachments, you might have a lot of trouble using the assault rifles. I personally always use the stock attachment when using the assault rifles because they completely lack mobility when aimed down the sight. So the 150 kills can be a real, real grind. And because I was having so much trouble getting kills, I realized while playing team based games, I was actually getting a pretty low amount of kills, like maybe 15 a game at most. And I was dying a ton and it just wasn't a lot of fun. But what I found was the perfect game mode for getting uh, the 150 kills with no attachments without having too much difficulty is actually just free for all. By playing free for all you could just get to a good spot on the map where you could see a couple of spawns and where enemies would consistently be running from and you could pick them off without too much worry of uh, ever getting double teamed and not being able to take up multiple opponents at once and I found that I was still winning games of free for all with no attachments and no perks so that's why I really recommend it the most because it wasn't hard getting the 30 kills per game and after 5 games I'd already be done that challenge and it was really easy. Okay, so let's move on to the next tip now. This is actually a really, really useful tip, and it will speed up the process uh, of getting your weapon gold by a reasonable amount of time. What you do is, instead of getting 150 kills with no perks, because that is an individual challenge, and then getting 150 kills with no attachments, which is another individual challenge, you can actually take off both your perks and your attachments and this way instead of having to get a total of 300 kills 150 kills with no perks and 150 kills with no attachments you just get the 150 kills with no perks and attachments at the same time and you get them all done after only 150 kills so it takes half the amount of time and you get both challenges completed now the following tips I'm about to give you guys are really only just for getting these challenges done and I would hate to see anybody, you know, doing this on the regular because these are some really, really annoying aspects of the game. But they work really well for getting these challenges done. So, 
if you are trying to get the long shots with the assault rifles, you only need 10, but they're actually really difficult to get. You don't realize how long the actual long shot is, and it becomes quite a challenge to get them in itself. So, like I said, definitely don't use this attachment ever unless you're an asshole, but if you're using it for this challenge, you can get a pass. What you want to use is the target finder. The target finder will make getting kills from a long distance a lot easier because that red box really will help you uh, stay on target and accurately kill people from a long distance away. And moving on to when you want to get the 10 bloodthirsties, if you're a person that has difficulty getting 5 kills in a row, which definitely isn't that easy. Uh, what you might want to do is consider playing a more defensive gameplay where you kind of stick to an area on the map where you can lock it down and not worry about running around the map and getting shot from points that you wouldn't expect an opponent. So that should hopefully make those challenges a bunch easier and you should be on your way to getting your gold camel which in turn will finally get you toward your diamond camel. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys liked it or it helped you at all, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a great night and peace out, people.